Here are some brief instructions on how to add a color adjustment and also a text size adjustment to a motion graphic template within After Effects. I've got my basic uh, title here, which I want to be able to use in, for example, Premiere Pro. Make sure you've got your Essential Graphics window open. If you haven't, click on Window and you'll find it in there under, funnily enough, Essential Graphics. Choose the composition that you're working on. And then down in your layers, you'll have the text layer that you want to deal with and you want to change the size of and the color of. On that text layer, in fact, I'm just going to drag it forward so I can see it. Click on the text layer and go to Effect. This is for color, by the way. And we're going to generate a, uh, a fill on here. So go to Generate and click on Fill. And that automatically goes red because the default color for a fill is red, or at least it is on my system. And if you open up that effect in here, you can see that color is something that can now be dragged into your essential graphics window. And I'm going to change that back to white, for example. As far as size is concerned, well, it's more of a workaround for size. You have to do it with scale. So you're not really changing the point size of the font itself, but it's all vectored, and so you don't lose any quality that way. It's absolutely fine. So we're going to use scale. But to use a slider control for scale, we want to add an expression control. So we're going to go to effect again and go to expression control, add a slider control to my text, expand that out, and then I want to say to After Effects what is what that slide is being used to control. Well, it's being used to control the scale of my text. So use the pick whip here on the right hand side, drag that over to slider, drop it down, and you'll notice the text goes red here. And if we drag the slider control now, so not the scale, but the slider control into the effects window, it'll default to zero. But what you'll can see now is I can adjust the size of the text using that slider. If you want it a bit to be able to be a little bit bigger than default, you can go to um, the edit the range and set this maybe to a maximum of 200. And the default value comes up as 100, but you can have the setting to go a little bit more than that if you want to be able to uh, let your users or let yourself make that ad uh, adjustment simply. And there we go. Yeah, nothing you can do about font for the moment, but there are some instructions on how to change the color and the um, text size.